Right guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom and in this week's episode, it's a jam-packed one. We're gonna be installing the ZWO EAF autofocuser and then we're gonna be announcing our first ever giveaway. And on top of that, we are gonna be showcasing the stunning new image that we've just taken with the monochrome camera. That's right, the Pelican Nebula. So let's get into this. All right, so let's look at the installation of the ZWO EAF autofocuser. Now this is a tiny little device and it's great for astrophotographers, ensuring precise and automated focusing. Now, if you're tired of going out there with your bottom off mask and trying to manually focus, then this is for you. Right guys, let's start unboxing the ZWO EAF autofocuser. Right, so let's have a little look at what we managed to get then. So we have the ZWO EAF electronic automatic focuser. Right, so straight away we've got an instruction manual. Just our an installation guide really. And we've got a 2.0 USB. Some Allen keys. A bracket. Some little bolts. And then we've got the spacers. So it fits all different types of scope. There we go, so yeah, all different sizes. So there's four different sizes in there. Pull all of those out. And then we've got the actual main piece itself. Let's move that box aside. Now, I love ZWO stuff because the quality, the attention to detail, I find is always very, very nice. They look like a great piece of uh, equipment. And then we've got a sensor, a temperature sensor. And then we've got the remote control. So a little cable to go to the remote. and so you can just manually focus it fast or slow. And then we also got the ZWO EAF bracket for the Celestron C11 and C14. And in this one, it comes with the larger spacer uh, for attaching onto the C11. All your screws and fittings that you need. And then the actual bracket itself, which this part's going to actually go over the actual uh, focuser knob, if you like. And this will be where the bracket will be connected to. So yeah, super cool, really nice quality. Just a, an aluminium milled out aluminium piece. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is put our original ring back on, which I had taken off because I had the other piece for the Celestron motor focuser. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at how we want to have this lined up. What's the best way? I think we're gonna do it from the side like that. Okay, so the set comes with some different size screws
Okay, so the bracket's on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our coupler. We're going to undo the screws, the little grub screws that are inside. Then we're going to get our motor. We're just going to connect it. I'm going to do it with the grub screws at the bottom. So we've done our grub screws and put the coupler on. And now inside that there's a flat point and that grub screw needs to go onto that flat point, which I've done. So now what we want to do is we just want to work out how this is going to connect. So right now we need to go in a little bit further. So you see here, there's a gap and we want to get this coupler all the way to the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this section off and we're just going to move it in a little bit and sort of do a dry fit until it's just right and then we can put uh, screws through here into here so that it will all lock into place. Okay, so we've got our little autofocuser. We're going to just put it on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just see where it would get to if we done it like that. So we're going to go third row in. So you see at the bottom, we're going to go three rows in. And that will be a good fit. There's a tiny gap. We'll screw it together and we'll see how it looks. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this part of the bracket. Okay, so if anybody uh, has done this a different way, that's absolutely fine. What I did was when I tightened these up, just to make sure that I was level, in this section here, you see with these lines running down them, this is actually flexible. So it actually, it flexes. And all I've done is I've just made sure that that gap is even all the way around the whole piece. And then I know that that's actually on there nice and level. So from there guys, what we can do is we can get a USB 2.0 and plug it straight in. Alright guys, so we've now connected our autofocuser, we've plugged it in and now what we're going to do is we're going to jump on Nina and we're just going to connect the focuser just to show you how easy it is. 
All right, so equipment, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to focuser and we've got two ZWO focusers, um, but we'll click on to ZWO focuser two and that should be it. We'll click connect and it's connecting and down the bottom we have success focus are connected so there you go guys it's that easy and then from there what you need to do is you can go over uh, change your settings and i'll do another video of how i actually did all of my settings to get the zwo uh, eaf autofocus are working for you All right guys, so the moment you've all been waiting for, that's right, it's our first ever giveaway. We're gonna be giving away a brand new ZWO EAF autofocuser or the cash equivalent, whatever you prefer. Now we're doing this just to say a massive thank you for the channel growing so quickly and all the support that I've received so far. So it's super easy to actually enter the competition. All you need to do is you need to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and throw me a comment below let me know what you love about astrophotography. So I'll randomly select the winner in four weeks time. So make sure that you enter the competition to be in for a chance of winning. Let's go and have a look at the Pelican Nebula now. Clear skies everyone.